Participants get to paint a rain barrel that they can tie into their stormwater system at home so they can use it in their garden, their flower beds, whatever they need to do to water. But it also captures that runoff from their homes and kind of keeps it there longer. That way when we have big storm events, they're not shooting it out into the storm drain system and impacting it more, especially when we have those big rain days. And they can kind of keep it detained on site and use it for irrigation. So if you have one of these systems, you can kind of save that water and use it slowly over time to water your vegetable gardens, your flowers, your lawn, whatever you see fit on your property. And we also put this event on to put together a mini grant program. So most of the proceeds we get from this event will go back into the county. This past year, the lot project won our mini grant. They're putting an irrigation system in on the Alphabet Street Gardens that they maintain. In years past, we've seen a nature trail put in at the Ag Museum and at the library, a sensory garden put in. So we do this to help support uh, soil and water conservation throughout the county. We see everybody. We see some of the senior citizens in the county. We see parents with their kids out here painting. We see college students. I think we've even had some high school students come out. So it's really great to see how many people are interested in soil and water conservation throughout the county. It's really exciting to see how many people want to make their property a better place for both soil and water. Part of my role is protecting Lake Hartwell. We call it source water protection. As a public lake, it is very difficult for myself to do it, it's impossible. And so with all the pressures of Lake Hartwell, we try to activate and empower the 220,000 people that drink our water. So we serve 15 different water districts. I work at the plant, and so it spans Anderson County, some of Pickens County, some of Abbeville County. And so the way we approach it is try to, through education and through empowerment, to show the residents that it's all of our responsibility to take care of a watershed. And every time a brewery comes to town, they reach out to us and they say, hey, what's the chemistry of the water? And so here at Magnetic South, we learned that the head brewers really are concerned and passionate about the environment. Since the spring of 2018, thankfully because of our ozone technology, we've addressed the drinking water, the tap water. But now we want to focus on taking care of the water before it reaches the intake on the lake. The rain barrels are a way that instead of water running off of a rooftop, when it across concrete and picking up any kind of oil or contaminants and into a storm drain into a creek, a rain barrel is a way to kind of catch it before it does that and you can then recirculate it or put it back into the ground or in our case at the water plant, a rain garden. And so nature is the original water treatment plant, so to speak. And so rain barrels are a way to kind of catch it and then allow it to slowly release or even release it into a rain garden where it's naturally filtered throughout the soil and can provide nutrients to plants.